Now, for them, the sky is the limit. Europe's five astronauts gave their first press conference today, one month after they started basic training. The group, selected out of over 20,000 candidates, is now learning about space vehicles, as well as how to survive in extreme conditions, and about the diplomatic aspects of space exploration. To discuss, Shirley Sitbon, our science reporter, is with me. And Shirley, what did the astronauts have to say in that press conference about their first uh, weeks of the programme? Well, uh, unsurprisingly, they're very excited. They admire one another. You have to say that these people are really, uh, uh, well, they have a, a great uh, resume because they've been to the best schools. They've achieved amazing things. You've said it. They've been selected out of 22,000 people across Europe. They're all mainly uh, engineers, astrophysicists. Some of them are pilots. And now they want to learn even more. You can see them now. This is the British uh, uh, member of this group, the French one, two women, three men, and uh, well, they're, they're anxious and uh, they're anticipating uh, to learn more about all this. And we have the British uh, member of this team who is called Rosemary Coogan, and she explains how the training actually comes to place and how it makes her understand better her mission. So far in basic training, we've had an overview of all the different areas that ESA is involved in. We've started group exercise classes in the gym here, and we've really delved into the science. So, for example, how the human body or living things generally are affected by changes in gravity or the radiation environment, which are really relevant for stays on the space station or exploring further beyond. And the trainers really make the, the material accessible for us. We're just a few metres from the labs where scientists are actually analysing the results of experiments that have gone to space. And being able to see that really brought the whole thing to life. So they call this basic training, but you can understand that it goes way beyond. You've said it's surviving in extreme uh, conditions. Also knowing how everything works uh, in all those vessels, the equipment, how to fix everything very quickly. And also it goes all the way to uh, international uh, space programs. They really need to know everything about everything and about one another to just come into one group. They come from separate backgrounds. They need to create uh, unity and and to work together. And uh, we learned that this is just the first phase and uh, the program changes uh, because we look at what they're gonna do later. For example, the goal until now of these crews was to go to the ISS and spend six months over there, carry out many experiments, but this group is actually thinking further. Uh, it's thinking of, well, maybe even going exploring the moon in a few years' time. So uh, they'll learn more geology. They'll go to other fields and explore more other fields. Uh, and maybe we can see some images of the ISS. Uh, that is something they, that's the place where they're going to start. That's the first phase of their whole program. Well, the ISS is where they're going to go. And if they want to go any further, that's the first phase. And they'll be like those people, like previous teams. And they want to learn more about biology, how the human body uh, evolves when it goes to space, how it evolves when it comes back. Apparently, the brain uh, can adapt to extreme situations. And they're learning more. They'll learn more and help everyone know more about various fields of science. So that's basically uh, the goal. Shirley Sipon, thank you very much.